Hi everyone, this is Crow the Sandler fan here, and it's time for me to do a movie review. Today's movie review is going to be on a movie that, that, that my dad likes, and it's one of my dad's favorite movies, and I like that movie too because I find it really funny, and, it, and it's a really good one. And that movie would be the 1997 comedy, Austin Powers International Man of Mystery. So the plot for the Austin Powers International Man of Mystery goes like this. Frozen in the 60s, secret agent Austin Powers, played by Mike Myers, is flawed back into action to once again battle his arch enemy, Dr. Evil, also played by Mike Myers. When his sidekick, Miss Kensington, played by Elizabeth Hurley, Austin must stop Dr. Evil's outrageous plot to control the world. But first, this Time Warp Swinger must get hip quick and discover that there's no free love in the 90s. Yeah, that's basically the plot of what Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery is about. So what I think of this movie? Uh, it, it's a pretty funny movie and a, and a good start to the franchise. There were a lot of funny moments here and there. And I, and I like how Austin Powers always uses his catchphrase, yeah, baby. It's definitely a bluffed catchphrase right there. And I thought the acting performances were really good. I thought Mike, Mike Myers did a splendid job playing Austin Powers himself. And he did a good job playing Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil was a pretty funny villain too. And I thought Elizabeth Hurley did a good job playing, playing Vanessa. Um, whom she later marries Austin in the end of the movie. And Seth Green did a good job playing Scott Evil, who is Dr. Evil's son. And Robert Wagner did good too. He plays one of Dr. Evil's henchmen. He did he did pretty good. And I thought Shay Roach did a good job directing it. And the Austin Powers theme song is really catchy. You know, it goes a doo 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 doo, a doo 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 doo, a doo 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 doo. Yeah, really catchy song. So, therefore, I, I have nothing else to say about Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery. To those of you who've never seen Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery, I recommend it. It's such a funny movie. You're going to enjoy watching it. It's a really great start to the franchise, and I think you'll enjoy the sequels, too. So, for my final reign of Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 stars. One of my dad's favorite movies and one of the funniest movies from the 90s. Thank you for listening to my review on Austin Powers' International Man of Mystery. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is me saying peace out.